Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about what you get in the case. First of all, you will get a manual. It's quite in depth and it's actually quite a good manual. There are a screwdriver, some extra blades for you. There's also a memory card for the drone in here, warranty card, etc. And then you get the sorted cables for connections and charging. You'll get a couple of batteries, you'll get a main remote, and you will get the drone itself. Okay, let's take everything out and open everything up. First, do the drone itself. Take off the protector of the blades. You simply open up the arms fully, like that. I will note in the back, there is the slot for the SD card. It pops right in there, clicks in, and then click it and pull it to get it out. The battery simply sits in there with the prongs up. It slides in, push it in firmly. And to pull it out, you push on these two little springy clips on the side and it will pull out. Now, to charge the batteries, if you press the button, it will tell you how much charge you have. Of course, four full lights means it's full. To charge it, you're going to put the battery into the drone and connect C-type charging cord up to the drone. The drone charges the battery. When you get four lights, it means the battery is completely charged. Also, it's also a good idea to take off the gimbal guard before you do anything. Simply just pull it and work its way off. It's like that. If you start the drone up with the guard on, you can sometimes mess up the gimbal. Next, you have the controller. You're going to simply open up the controller, pull out the bottom like that, and then underneath you get the, uh, the sticks and you just take them out and screw them in just like that. To charge the controller on the left hand side, there's a little tab you pull back. Same thing, you put a C-type charger attached to it. And four lights minutes fully charged. Of course, again, if you press the button briefly, it will show you the charge of the controller. I've got four, means it's fully charged. Next, you're going to need the app for the phone for your drone. It's an app called WK Fly. And you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Store, put in WK Fly, and you can download it directly from there. It's probably the easiest way to get it. There is a QR code in the case, but going to the Google or Apple Store is by far the simplest way. Once you get it, when you do start it, it's going to ask you to comply to a couple of EULAs. It's also going to ask you to allow the cameras and storage, etc., to be usable with the drone. So set that up and we'll move to the next step. Now, the next step is connecting the drone to the controller. Now, how are we going to do that? First of all, we're going to take your phone. We're going to insert it into the case like that. And then you'll take the little cord. Mine is a C type to C type. And you're going to use that to connect the controller to the phone. Now, I actually use a different one because my phone, I need for some reason a very deep connector. So I'm actually using this from another drone. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect that into the top right here, like that, 
Then you're going to connect the other end into the phone like that. And as you see, it's noticed that it's connected. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the drone and there's a big button on the battery. You're going to press it once, let it go and press it immediately again and hold one second of hold. And you'll see the lights come on and the drone chirps. That means it's in binding mode. Now you're going to press and hold, press it and then press and hold the power button on the controller too. See the lights come on and then you can press the WK fly and uh, you'll see a red light which means it's connecting to the drone. It will come on in a second. There we go. And now it's going to do a hookup. Now it can take uh, 30 seconds to a minute to hook up. So I'm actually going to pause it and continue once it's connected. Okay. Now you've got a green light on the top. It means the drone has connected. The drone has stopped its flashing. You come up with this screen. And what it's saying is the drone needs to be activated. Now I've tried to verify code. I've tried numerous things. I've not got anything to work, but there's a workaround. If you click on the enter verify code and then back out and then go to the back button here, then you see it allows you to go fly. So now, as you see, you have the video coming through. It's dark in here, sorry, but you have the video coming through. So now you are fully connected, controller, phone, and the drone. Now the nice thing is with this drone, you don't have to perform the usual geomagnetic and gyro calibrations you do with other drones. What basically what happens is when you go to the spot you want to fly outside, once it finds the GPS satellites, it will locate the point you put your drone and start it up as the home point. So um, basically, on the screen, it will show you right there the amount of satellites you're at. When you get over 10 to 12, the drone will be able to start up. Um, but then once you get those satellites, it will record the starting point when you're outside for the return to home. So if you ever have any problems, you press the return to home button here and the drone will come back to that point. So what you're going to do is go to the area you want to fly. Let's see, start up the drone, set the drone on the ground, step a meter or so away. And just basically wait until the drone will beep and tell you that you have enough GPS satellites in order to fly. Once that's done. You simply pull down on the two sticks. As you see, the drone will start its rotors. And then simply all you need to do is just push up on the stick or take, use the automatic takeoff and the drone will fly. If you use the automatic takeoff, it will fly up to a couple of meters high and it will hover. And the, roughly the same with the stick, but it's uh, if you keep pushing, the drone will keep going up. And the same thing when you come down, you can push the stick all the way down and the drone will come down and land. And once you've taken off, the automatic takeoff will become a return to home button. So you have to land manually every time. Now, I know you're all excited about the uh, ability to be able to throw the drone and have it take off. I think this is awesome. Now I'll let you know, if you use this function, it will use the controller as the home point. So if you, if you throw the drone and you fly around, you have a problem, you hit the return to home, it will return very close to where the transmitter is. So wherever that is, it will return to home. Now, to allow it to let you throw it, 
you'll put your hand underneath, covers the sensors, and then you tip the drone down. And then you hear that beeping sound. You have 10 seconds in which you can throw the drone up into the air and it will start the rotors and hover. Of course, I'm not going to do it inside. It could be a little disastrous, but it's actually really easy. So you just put your hand underneath. You're going to be covering these sensors. Wait till it beeps and throw away. And that's how easy it is. This drone is, I love the fact you can just put it down and you don't have to calibrate. You can just take off from that location. It's fantastic. But after this video, if you do have any questions or need any help, please don't hesitate to reach out to the customer support team at the Bigley Brothers, and we'll be most happy to help you. Have fun flying and have a great day.